John Waller. I'm with a company called Alternate Energy Solutions out of Michigan, and I've been requested by the school district to put up a meteorological tower for the purposes of measuring the wind speed. What we've done here today is basically clear the path for the uh, in a cornfield so that we could lay the tower out in the guy wires. We've got two types of towers that are being laid out. Laid out. One is the actual MET tower, which is 19 sections of steel tubing measuring 164 feet once uh, it's assembled. And next to it are four sets of tubes that are going to uh, comprise what is called a gin pole. The gin pole is going to be used to help lift the main tower uh, with a winch. Uh, the main tower will be connected here with the base, at the base. Uh, the anchor points are about 110 feet on quads, uh, 90 degree angles from the base, north, south, east, and west. On the tower you'll have meteorological uh, sensors such as anemometers and wind vanes, barometric pressures, and temperature sensors. Uh, so that we can gather the data that's necessary to figure out exactly how much power is in the wind. And from that, we can determine what type of turbine would be best suited for producing as much energy as possible for this particular wind resource. I hope that answers your questions.